Okay viewers, wait until you see this and it's straight in my carpet, but in Cost Town, this is unbeatable maybe, um, looks really good. Taking a wee walk, I'll find some nice places here, definitely, quite impressed so far. Look at this lovely wee shop here. This is a good wee bit for shade, I tell you, it's unbelievably hot here. I um, don't know if that's a church or a courtyard, I'm not 100% sure, but we are heading down this way, viewers. I think I'm walking down towards the marina, which is about a 15 minute walk, but on the way, I've spotted potentially unbeatable spots to have a beer and watch the football, or just have a wee coffee, an ice cream, whatever your preference is, wait till you see this, viewers. I'm going to do a mix of history, architecture, and stuff that you might just enjoy. So quite a busy main road, but look how pretty it is. It gets better, right? Hold on, it gets better. We get to the end, it gets better, right? We're gonna head down that way. Some really nice bars down here. Let's pass some of them, okay? I think I'm gonna pop in here because I get dehydration. I'm gonna pop in and uh, have a drink. Might not even be a beer, might just be a wee Coke. Um, you'll see how much the beers are here. They're all much the same price down here. I have been finding quite a few good deals, actually. Random wee clothes shop here. It's as if that's maybe the police station over there, a lot of police cars there. A lot of big boats in. Uh, the port is away down that way, but they come off the ferry from Bodrum. That was an interesting journey. You'd have seen that video by now. Um, so we've got some nice wee bars and restaurants here. And the main thing is they've got nice shade. These will be really busy, I think, maybe at night. Um, you are on a bit of a busy main road, mind you. Um, that's the only thing. But you're sitting here looking out to sea, having a wee beer for three euros. Can't complain, can you? Can't complain. Let's take a wee walk further along. There's a better spot down here. This is the one that's unbeatable, I think, at the end. I've not been across to it yet, but it looks lovely. Some very impressive buildings here, very nice. Just the, the, the blended everything in nicely. They built it well. Yeah, it's a lovely wee place. Okay, some traditional Greek food there as well, as well as a club sandwich and a breakfast. There's a mix, I've seen a few places doing English breakfast as well. So, large beer, three euros. House wine, half a litre, seven euros. Glass of wine, three euros. That's not bad for here, isn't it? Not bad at all. And it's a lovely wee spot. Uh, this bar next to it has got the football on. Not all of them have got football, so if you're not in your football, don't worry. Uh, quite a few of them do have the football on. It's pretty nice here, eh? Show you a bit of the menu here, large Greek beer, it's three euros. I've noticed most of the menus are in multiple uh, languages. Long drinks, cocktails, ice cream, pizzas, just doing all sorts. It's, it's pretty affordable, it's not that expensive here considering how nice it is. Well, you can get a wee fountain there as well, pretty nice. Showing the football on there as well. I might pop in there in a wee second. I was speaking to the guy, he was trying to take me in saying, man, you, and I says, that, I says, you've obviously not met me, Liverpool all the team. Oh, let's see if I can get across here. Only joking, I didn't say that to him. <laughs> I like any football, I like watching all the Premiership football and the Scottish games. But this is unbeatable. Surely this is unbeatable, viewers. Where are we now? I don't even know, I think we're part of a hotel here. This is definitely not free to sit here. I definitely can't sit here. Look at this. Nice, eh? All right, it's not a sandy beach then. It's pretty nice, isn't it? It's pretty nice, a nice vibe to it, there's a lot of people in the sea actually swimming down the front there as well, they've got beds even further down, a lot of kids in swimming as well, so what a beautiful spot it is, stretches all the way along there, it's a wee wonder, what's it called, Galsamino, or Bargo Galsamino, I think it's called, it's called the Beach Lounge, part of the hotel by the looks of it, uh, location there, you don't have a beach but they've done the second best thing haven't they, Look how nice this is. This is class, isn't it? This is class. Very nice, very, very nice indeed. Let's continue. See if there's anything else up here, maybe another wee restaurant or bar. We'll wait and see. Oh, there's more sunbeds down here. I'm assuming these are part of a hotel, but there's nobody police them or anything. I don't know whether you could just get a drink and sit in them, I don't know. I don't know if it's like Bodrum, you just get a large beer for 250 and sit there. I don't think the large beer is going to be 250 here, it's going to be a bit more. Okay, so these sunbeds are pretty nice, not quite as nice as further down, but still pretty beautiful here, isn't it? It's a pity that these beaches are kind of 
rocky and not as good as kind of beaches in Spain, isn't it? If, if they were, I mean, this place just would have everything, wouldn't it? So if you're a beach lover, that's the only thing that would put you off slightly, but it's absolutely spectacular. Head out the front, see if end down here. Might go back in and speak to the wee guy we speak to and go in and just have a wee drink, dehydrate and then head towards the marina which is going to be another 10 minute walk minimum down the left here. Because I hear there's an outdoor cinema down at the marina so I'm thinking there must be a few things. Is it worth going all the way down there? Oh, I've answered the question. Free sunbeds. So as long as you basically buy a drink, free sunbeds in there, beautiful. Buses, no idea yet, but buses here. This looks an absolute class to tell, to say the least. Here's the restaurant here in the bar list and the wine list. There's the prices here for you viewers. Glasses, eight euros for wine. There's no euro beers in there, the looks of it. Soft drinks, I think four euros. And there's the food as well. Omelette, 10 euros. Doesn't look that bad for a kind of classy place like that. Live music every Thursday. Unfortunately, I missed it. But live music every Thursday as well. So that's interesting. To be interesting, find some beautiful buildings around here. What have we got here? Happy or hold on viewers? Okay. Cocktail six euros, draft beer three euros. And that must have just been this wee spot down here, which is again beautiful as well. I don't know if they've got sunbeds, but they've got chairs. And they're doing a, a Greek salad for eleven euros. Here's the menu here. Breakfast seven euros, English breakfast ten euros, sandwiches from eight euros, in fact six fifty for a salmon one. Pizza, various prices from 12 50 10 50 for a margarita. I think that's pretty decent considering the location. What do you think, viewers? Look at the location, it's pretty good. All the way down here. See if they had the football on here, I'd stop here and get a drink because this, this is unmatched, this view. It's unmatched. It's nice, eh? Beautiful here. Tempted, very tempted, viewers. Look at this. This is the seat I take, right? Not the same when you're just on your own, I'm afraid. Just doing these videos, but this is the seat I would have right here. Almost get my wee toe in the water. Look at that. Amazing. There's all the sunbeds down there again. Beautiful, eh? So I can see we've got a few wee beach bars heading down the way as well. So I'm going to walk down there. That's the marina, I'm assuming, down there. I'll need to stop. If it's too warm, I'm going to stop. Have a wee drink and then I'm going to head down there, viewers. It's another hotel by the looks of it. Don't think it's the same hotel. Another hotel. So let me know if you've stayed in any of these wonderful looking hotels right on the seafront. And you've got loads of bars and restaurants next to you. About a 10 minute walk to the right is where my hotel is. There's a lot of bars down the front there as well. Um, a lot of nice restaurants and shops, ice cream places. Everything you really need for a holiday, I think. Okay, that lady looks as hot as me. There it is, Roston. Okay, viewers, I think I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go in and watch the end of the Man U game. Um, we'll see how we're going with that. Okay, viewers, thank you so much for watching to the end. You're an absolute superstar. That's what helps the channel the most. I really, really appreciate it. Um, do me a wee favour if you're new to the channel. My name's Kevin. I do lots of videos in tourist places. All you have to do is subscribe. It's free, just up there, probably on your phone. Hit the wee subscribe button. Means you might get a wee notification when I upload new videos in some of your favourite places. I do videos all over the place. We started in Tenerife, hence the channel name, and we've now branched out to all over Europe and potentially the world. Coming soon, potentially. <laughs> um, so I just want to thank you so much for all your support. What a lovely wee spot it is here in Cost Town. Um, it's a nice place, Cost Town. It is nice, I'm quite liking it. I've only done a few videos, so it's yet to be seen whether I can spend a week on holiday here. There's enough to keep me occupied. I don't know yet, but I can tell you it's nice. It's got a nice vibe about it. Right, I'm going to watch football. Thanks for watching, viewers. See you next one.